Now we look into our last example that's um, in the file optimization example rotten. It's an example from David Rotten again that I've taken from one of the websites where he described this problem. And it's a very nice training example. Um, you find here in the definition again two um, parameters. If you change the sliders, you see um, we change here the green box and you get here a different value for the volume of this box. The box is a bounding box for this curve. So that's a curve three in, in a three-dimensional space. And the bounding box um, is rotated around this curve. So it's always a bounding box enclosing this curve, but um, you see the size differs depending how I rotate the box. And now our test problem, our example problem is to find the rotation values um, to get the minimal bounding box, means the bounding box with the smallest volume. Now you can play around here with the sliders trying to find the smallest value that you can achieve. So I'm somewhere at 2368. And um, for training, you can try to create a fitness landscape for this problem. So that's a very good exercise for you to figure out how to analyze the problem in terms of generating a fitness landscape, because this is a part of the analysis. And um, for us, uh, I mean, the, the components and the definition, it's quite simple, so you should have no problem to understand it. Um, but to um, give you another example at hand where you can play around with and to become more secure with all these aspects of the optimization, here again we minimize our problem. Um, we look into this settings here and because we want to find the minimal bounding rectangle, we have again the um, evolution resolver. You can also test the simulated and e-link. It's no problem, just switch and run the old solver and observe what's happening. Um, here we have a population of 50. Um, initial boost two means we generate 100 initial um, variants to start the problem, uh, the solver. And now let's run it and see, ah, now it already found a better one that I've found with testing it here. Again, another one. And you see the same thing that we've observed in before. It's, it changes the genes based on our evolutionary operators that I've explained to you in the lesson in the lecture in before. So now we can run it until it converges to a local optima. You see, it already finds a relatively good solution after a few iterations. And the rest primarily increases the average values of the population itself, which is this orange line. So that's the average fitness value of the current population that you see here. Um, and here you see the or less the, the distribution of the um, fitness values to the left and the right side from the average value. So here obviously um, we found the best solution here. Now it's not increasing anymore. The optimization solver was running for a while. So this is for sure a local optima. If we are lucky, we find maybe another mountain in our fitness landscape but otherwise for the demonstration we keep it as it is and um, 578 that's my best solution maybe you find a better one in your optimization as mentioned and um, the evolutionary solver works with many many random values so it can be that i've found or my solver found only a local optima where it converges 
and it's not able to find maybe a better solution in the landscape maybe you in your runs you find a better one or a worse one um, you can compare it uh, as mentioned play around with the definition and the other one as well look into the internet um, you can find other definitions i will provide you links to example files where you can find other examples um, to play around with and further readings for the theoretical backgrounds that's really my recommendation also try to think about your own problem start with very very simple problems that you want to experiment with and try to um, create a definition where you put in the genes the design parameters and the fitness values that you measure put the things together on your own for your own problem that's what I highly recommend to do in the next step really to get used to work with the optimization solver so good luck with your own experiments